welcome to my channel know my country south africa my name is kp this channel's purpose is to give you information about south africa and its provinces today we are going to be talking about limpopo the garden of eden limpopo is the northernmost province of south africa it is named after the limpopo river which forms the province's western and northern borders. The capital and largest city in the province is Polokwane, while the provincial legislature is situated in Leboahomu. Guys, this province um, is made up of three main ethnic groups, namely Bedi people, Tsonga, and Venda people. And they are also, the population groups are black, white, Indian, or Asian, and colored. The languages in this province are Bedi, Tsonga, Venda, Africans, Tswana, and Southern Ndebele. When I'm say, saying Bedi, it covers, it covers Selobedu, they call it Kilobedu, um, Sebirwa, Setokwa and you know other other languages. It's a whole lot of languages in in Pedi languages, and in terms of um, the population, I don't know what is the population at the current moment, but uh, no, let me not talk to that because I'm not sure what is the population in Limpopo. Now, the majority of Limpopo residents, they live in rural areas. Now, you would see I have posted pictures of houses in this video. These houses are actually in the rural villages. And um, aren't they beautiful, guys? Let's talk about them. These houses are so beautiful. So the people of Limpopo... Um, uh, let me say this has given rise to a new phenomenon. Femen, femen, oh goodness, there, there are those ways that you would like to, <laughs> to, 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 to say them and it's just so difficult to say that them. Yeah, but it's phenomenon, yes, of rural development where the residents have invested in building lavish homes on their tribal land. The Limpopo province has the highest percentage of people living in formal housing in South Africa. In terms of tourism, the Limpopo Department of Economic Development, Environment and Tourism has targeted the province as a preferred ecotourism destination. Its environment and tourism program encompasses tourism, protected areas and community environment development to achieve sustainable economic growth guys i did work for this department of economic development and tourism uh, but i was doing an internship long ago yeah um we used to attend you know exhibitions marketing limpopo and all those things yeah just to you know promote economic growth while Limpopo is one of South Africa's poorest provinces, it is rich in wildlife, which gives it an advantage in attracting tourists. Both the private and public sectors are investing in tourism development. Near Mujaji Sloof, this town was called Devil Sloof before, at Sunland Baobab's farm, there's a large baobab tree which has been fashioned into a rather spacious pub. Guys, in terms of educational institutions, 12.9% uh, of Limpopo population has attained some post-school qualification. Um, the, 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 the educational institutions in, in Limpopo, South Africa, uh, I'll start with the University of Limpopo, which is based in Polokwane, Mangueng. There's University of Venda, it's in Toyando. Swani University of Technology, it's in Polokwane. And um, Capricorn College for Tivet, Sesheru. 
Capricorn College for Tivet Bologwani, Le Palale Tivet College, it's in Le Palale, Le Daba Tivet College is in Zanin, Mobani South is Tivet College is in Palabora, Sikukuni Tivet College Motedema, Vembe Tivet College is in Venda, Waterbeck Tivet College in Mogobani, Giani Campus of Nursing College, Limpopo Province College of Nursing is in Giani Campus. Guys, um, let's talk about these houses that I've posted in this video. Guys, these houses are beautiful. Usually the people that are building these houses, like it's a norm in South Africa. Most of uh, of people, they leave their homes to go to Gauteng, to go to work. And um, while they are in Gauteng, they remember back home. We call it back home, Rabomma. They go and build houses there because they don't want to leave their mothers, you know, in those um, houses. They long or this are sharp. Or kilo abana kerongola dinjone this this sharp. But so they they didn't they couldn't afford there and there. So now these people are saying. We're going back to our mothers or to our parents' houses, homes and we are going to build houses for them. Guys, these houses are really beautiful. I really admire what is happening in in Limpopo. And um, there's a slogan that says Shumela Hayani. You know, it's like you, you work for home, you know, very you know. So this is, is is quite nice and the people of Limbobo are really doing very well and they are also giving an inspiration to other provinces that are following suit in, in doing, you know, the same. I really like what is happening, guys continue to work hard like this continue to shumela ayani guys um kindly those who are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and those who are in this channel thanks for your support guys i really really depend on your support thank you so much kindly drop your comments share this this video and um drop your likes there I would, I would really need to hear what you think about this video. Kindly drop your comments. Guys, and by the way, to acquire a stand from a rural village in Limpopo, you need to go to a, a tribal authority of the same village and um, you would need to you know follow the procedure as to how to acquire a stand usually there is a um a fee involved um usually it would be between thousand rand and maybe fifteen thousand rand it depends on the area where you are looking for a stand um remember we are talking about a rural village we are not talking about you know the suburbs or or you know townships this is a rural village we are talking about you get to the tribal authority and um they will give you the prices there and if you are good with it you can you know follow the procedure and you can start building you know thank you so much please support this channel by subscribing